you. They like the way you do what you do. Yeah, Peter Puck, pick a pipe, pick a pipe, Dan. That's my man, Dan. Dan is the rock with you, get you, get your rock with you. Got, 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 got. That's the one with your shoulder hustle. Move your hoof muscle. Get your leg muscle with the Peter Puck, puzzle with the Gressel. The Russell, get you with the muscle. <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior, aka the Delay God, and I'm back with another video. Now today I'm gonna show you guys how to gain a lot of rep on the shot creator slash playmaking archetype, okay? Now there's a secret behind Glanis archetype super fast. And I have I've been noticed this, but I haven't been doing it simply because I was focusing on my badges first. But now that I have all my badges, you know what I'm saying? I've been grinding my nigga. Now that I have all my badges, I've been doing this method. Now I got six thousand from this game as you could clearly see but the thing about this i wasn't even grinding hard this game bruh just imagine if i was really going ham just imagine how much xp i would have gotten if i really went ham this game bruh you know what i'm saying so let me tell you guys the secret about the shot creating slash playmaking archetype bro now listen to me it's the acrobatic layups bro did you see how much I got from just doing acrobatic layups alone? I got 27,500, bro. I gained over 60,000 XP come overall, and I gained 27,000 from acrobatic layups alone. Subtract that from 60,000, that's about 30 something thousand, like 33,000, bro. That is how much, bro. I wouldn't got if I would if I didn't do the acrobatic layer. So, acro, bro, acrobatic layups gives you so much XP on the shot creating playmaker, bro. Like, bro, let oh my gosh, bro. Like, listen to me, man. If you have a shot creating playmaker, shot creator slash playmaker, this is what you need to do if you're trying to rep up. Do a lot of acrobatic layups, bro. In my career, just go crazy now now if you guys didn't know i created a new player this is a new player that i have my first player got deleted um and i'm already at 89 bro you know what i'm saying my first play got deleted at like an 89 i think an 89 or 88 or something like that you know what i'm saying uh, i had so many cat breakers on that guy already i just didn't upgrade him to the mask because i didn't have the vc at the time but he got deleted so just imagine what rep i would have been right now I probably would have been like a 93 or a 94 or something like that and since I created this new guy, there's been so many days when I've been playing 2K, I've been out getting, doing shopping, I've been out just doing a lot of stuff, I've been on Netflix and all type of stuff. And I'm already 89, bro. Just imagine if I really grinded the time that I had and the days that I had, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, bro, I would have been so, I'm telling you, man, this is the way to go. I would have been such a high rep, man. But anyways, what you need to do, if you don't know how to do acrobatic lips, is double tap X without holding turbo. You will do Euro step, double tap X while holding turbo. He will do a spin layup, or you can just do a baseline reverse. Those three uh, counts as acrobatic layups, okay? This is not going to be the same for every archetype. Every archetype has their specific thing that gives them a lot for sharpshooters. It's uh, limitless range shots. So that's the same for us on the shot creator slash playmaker. This gives you so much. And like I said, bro, I wasn't even going ham this game, bro. Just imagine how much I would have gotten if I really, really went ham this game, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, bro, this is the way to wrap up your shot creator slash playmaker. Acrobatic layups is the way to go. Now a lot of <clears throat> now let me tell you guys something that can help y'all. Um, try to listen to me when you're playing too. Just just run straight uh full court press and double team every person that has the ball. Don't don't focus on your teammate grade because your teammate grade doesn't matter this year. Don't focus on your teammate grade at all. Just full court press and just double the guy that has the ball every single time and just steal it. Now if you get in foul trouble, there's a method of getting a lot of steals that I use personally when I do get in foul trouble is double team. And this is just the best way to steal in my opinion, period, without even like just double team or you even have to double team and just try to run into the ball. Don't try to reach, don't try to play defense, like just run, try to use your foot and hit the ball. It works so much. I've been doing this like 80% of my steals 
come for me doing it like that just run into the ball like the, the mechanics is so weird in the game bro like reaching you're just gonna get a foul if you reach like 90 percent of the times when i reach i just get fouled so what i do is just i just run into the ball like double team and then just run into the ball and i get it like so many times so you guys should do that bro that is like a good way to get a lot of steals on nba 2k18 i i don't know about park because i haven't been grinding park like that but in my grade that is a good way to get steals but like i said bro if you're on the shot grade shot creating playmaker go crazy on the acrobatic lens bro this is what i've been doing for the past few games and my rep is moving so much faster now like i said i could have been been doing this but i was trying to get my badges and i'll have all my badges on going crazy you know what i'm saying but anyways y'all my name is king superior let me know bro now this video is helpful to a lot of you because you will you know what i'm saying but hey drop a like on this video man my name is king superior hopefully this video did help you guys out you know what i'm saying i got some bangers coming for y'all soon but anyways, I'll let you guys later, man. Peace.